must Congress do now to win Americans back and restore confidence in Washington? Let us bring in freshman representatives, Joyce Beatty of Ohio and Robert Pittenger from North Carolina. And, and representatives, I'm going to ask you both a favor of you to begin this interview. No blame, all right? Too much of what we've heard lately has been blaming the other party. Nobody that's GOP or Dem is going to ever blame their own party. We get that. So let's yeah. focus on solutions if we can. So Representative Beatty, I'll begin with you. Uh, how do you win back the trust of Americans and American business? I think what you have to do is use what happened in the last two days as a great example. The American people want to see us working together. They want to see us reaching across the aisle. And that's what happened when you look at what we did to raise our debt ceiling. We were able to have Democrats in leadership and reasonable and rational Republicans to come together. The American people have said to us, no matter what the political issues are or the public policy issues are, they they wanted Americans to be back at work. They wanted us to strive with our economy and grow the economy. And that's what we did. And we did that because the leaders got together, and that's what's allowing us to move forward. And I think we're going to see that as we continue between now and February the 14th, because we should stop the blame. And thank goodness yesterday in the Senate, that we had a large number of senators who reached across the aisle yeah. as Republicans and voted with the majority. And we saw the same thing last night on the House floor. And yet it's pretty dire when you're all being compared to cockroaches. So Representative Pittenger, what are you personally doing to make things better now? Well, that's a wonderful question, and it's a great objective. You know, no matter who you talk to, um, of leading economists, whether it's Peter Orzak, who was the budget writer for Mr. Obama, or Erskine Bowles, whom I've known for over 20 years, who was a budget writer for Mr. Clinton, or Paul Ryan, they're all saying the same thing, that unless we get our spending under control, that uh, we are on a trajectory where we're going to financially collapse like Greece. That's a very bipartisan group. In fact, I was at an airport with Erskine weeks ago, and, I, and as we chatted, I said, well, what takes you to Washington? He said, well, Robert, I'm headed up there to introduce Paul Ryan at a dinner. Now, that ought to say a lot. Right. They get the big picture, and that's what we need to be about. Uh, unfortunately, the, the great concerns of our debt and our, and our spending, we need to keep on the table. If we're taking but in Con two and a half trillion dollars and spending three and a half trillion, we need to focus on how we can get a physically accountable I'm gonna, government. Okay, I'm going to ask you both then the, sa the same question, and when we'll, we'll get some quick answers here, hopefully, starting with you, Representative Beatty. What are you going to personally do and guarantee and promise your constituents so that in about 90 days we don't have this again? One of the things I'm going to do is continue meeting with my constituents. We've already held town hall meetings. We're going to go back and share with them the truth that it's going to take three things. It's not just looking at our spending, because certainly they know that in the last two years, we have had less federal spending since the Korean War. We're also going to look at how we can have tax reform. Working together with Americans and the working people, working together with corporate Americans. And we're also going to be able to look at what are those things that we can do to reduce the deficit? So I think it's three things. But it's working in a bipartisan fashion. It's not blaming. Right. I was so proud when the President of the United States said he was willing to work with everyone, and that's why we're moving America forward. And those are some of the things I'm going to do back home. We're going to have teletown halls. We're going to work together. If you look at how we voted last night in my yeah. district in central Ohio, the three Three members of Congress stood together as Democrats and Republicans in my hall and in my district. Democrats and Republicans are starting to work together because we know it's not blaming one another as my colleagues have been doing and continue to do today. And words are fantastic <laughs> and we love hearing these words about working together, but Representative Pittenger, we have only a small amount of time here before, as Brian said, we have to go through all of this again. The American public, the world has to go through all of this again. What do we do to be more productive? What's the first thing on your agenda to be more productive to make this work? When I came into Congress, I helped found a group called United Solutions. Uh, it was a bipartisan group and it remains that today. We signed a letter, 37 of us, uh, to the president, imploring him to address the debt and uh, to deal with the long-term spending uh, of our country, that 
uh, we must get it under control. I will continue uh, with United Solutions. We work, we meet uh, just about every week, uh, mm -hmm. many various groups of us, and we're going to work together to seek all, every solution that we can in a bipartisan way to address these major issues. If we don't get this spending under control and debt under control, uh, interest rates are, are going to go up as quantitative, quantitative easing it is relaxed. Uh, that yeah. could take our, our debt interest from 230 a billion a year to a trillion dollars a year. We have to focus on these issues. All right. Well, uh, representatives, thank you both very much. We heard some great things.